Hey guys, so we are down to 32 healthy weeks. I can't even believe it. I'm saying 32 weeks. Gosh, when I took my first video when I did my pregnancy test, um, I always thought about, you know, when I would get into the numbers of 12 weeks and then 20 weeks and now we are at 32 weeks. So I'm approximately seven and a half months pregnant. So baby's been healthy. She's very, very busy. Um, she's been growing so so amazingly she's already weighing two kilos and i still have about eight weeks to go so yeah the time has come for me to pack my hospital bag so full disclaimer before we get into anything just remember guys i'm a first time mom and the things that i will be packing is based on advice that i've received from other moms that's delivered now during the pandemic um, which makes it a little bit more trickier because there isn't a guarantee that sean will actually be allowed to visit depending on the wave at the time when i am due so um i've been advised to pack a little bit extra than what the usual moms would usually pack in um there's also things like personal preferences of items that have that i will be packing in and then there's also the list that i received from the hospital which is kind of guidelines on what to prepare for when packing your hospital bag so yeah like i said i can't believe that we are at this point like it can happen at any time so we need to keep the bag ready and this has been such an amazing journey so far. Um, I just want to say a big shout out to all the sponsors that's actually been involved in this video. I will be taking you through them individually so that you guys can actually see the amazing things that is out there by small businesses, by bigger brands as well, and also by some of our favorite brands that has been around for quite some time. So yeah, I think the first things first is I will get into the list that the hospital gave me. Um, I do know that this may vary for those who are doing c-section and those who are doing natural birth because your duration at your hospital stay will be different i think by a day or two then there's also the um various options with private hospital and with government hospital so usually i do know at private hospital they do give you everything that you need um, i'm not too certain about what is all provided at the government hospital so the items that i will be packing most of it is given in hospital already but like i said some of it is just some added extras that i've added into what i'm ready to pack so um yeah let's go through the hospital list but so packing for the hospital list first it is noted on here to bring obviously your medical aid card your identity document um and then copies of your and your husband's ids as well as a marriage certificate um the marriage certificate is just in case there is a discrepancy with the surname. So I've got my proof of my bed booking. I've got our IDs, our marriage certificate, um, so that I'll all be putting into a file. They also recommend that you bring a black pen along for when registering the baby. Um, so I've packed that all in and then that I will place into a little envelope file like this along with my black pen i've also written down the baby's name and he said sean doesn't forget the spelling <laughs> so um yeah those are the documents that we would need this will go in the sleeve within my hospital bag but i will show you once i actually do the packing then we're going to go through some of the items that they mention um they mention things like maternity pads for the mom breast pads, a comfortable dressing gown, two sets of pajamas, um, toiletry bag with your personal toiletries along with a face cloth, um, your cell phone charger, which I will hopefully not forget closer to the time, um, warm socks, I am giving birth in the heart of winters, it's a July baby, so the reason why my bag is also a lot bigger than what I expected is because I'm quite tall first of all and i get cold very very quickly so i've got really thick um pajamas packed in so that makes it a little bit trickier also in when packing the hospital bag if you're trying to get away with just a small overnight bag um they also recommend some nipple cream a feeding bra um a plastic bag for dirty laundry and then a pack of newborn nappies but it does say that they do provide nappies in hospital but you can bring a small pack of your choice as well especially for when going home um cotton wool surgical spirits um bum cream 
and then they also recommend that we pack in just a set of baby clothes for coming home um not necessarily for in hospital because they prefer skin to skin and they also do have some clothing for the baby and then obviously um clothing for the mom to come home in but uh if i know i'll just come home with my pjs <laughs> and then um a car seat for the baby and then also a thick blanket because like i say baby is due in the heart of winter cool so one of the gifts that i received is from bare necessities and it, this is what it looks like if i can recommend anybody if you want to buy baby shower gifts this is something that i think is so needed for for new moms especially or for any mom that's expecting um it has everything packed in here the gift boxes does vary from 250 rand they specialize in items for newborn babies and for hospital essentials so i'll take you through what i received in this box and from what i've kept in here it's literally everything on my list so it saves you big time it also saves you a lot of effort <laughs> so yeah let's get into this box over here so in the box you will receive well the one that was bespoke made for me there is breast pads which is so essential um we've got maternity pads for mommy we've got bennett's pump cream we've got a pack of wipes um this i'll be using for myself and for the baby while we're in hospital and then also there is a set of nappies so like i said the hospital does provide you with um nappies while you're in hospital so this is mainly for coming home but they do say if you want to pack in a pack of newborn nappies you can do that as well which is why um this i received from my friend candace joshua which is a nice size pack to keep in your your nappy bag i'm um, sorry your hospital bag um she's also in green assistance has included some earbuds surgical spirits which is very very needed for the navel some tissue oil for mommy for those itchy stretch marks nipple cream also got some cotton wool which is for also cleaning the baby's eyes and nose and then also the navel and then we've got some epimax cream as well and then maternity briefs i have been told that the hospitals does provide you with disposable um briefs as well but they do recommend that you pack in for yourself because they don't always have them you know like heaps lying around so if you want to change it at your own convenience it's best to have one in your bag so that's everything in here um like i say if you want to get expecting moms a gift or even when once they are at home and you want to get them a newborn gift this is something that is so precious it has everything in here um it's literally saved me the time to go and purchase these items individually so this this entire box we will be adding to our hospital bag cool then i've also received some really cool teas from carmine i've heard so many reviews from this brand and um on all the mommy groups yes i join mommy groups now on, on facebook and on instagram um this has been highly recommended which is a nursing tea this is supposed to um assist moms with breastfeeding um it does help you um to produce milk while you are in the hospital for the first few days and for the after um because i have heard that some moms struggle on the first few days if they don't have milk as yet um they've also sent me an array of teas which is something that i absolutely love um i'll just be packing in the wine box which is my favorite flavor the turkish delight and then they've also sent me this really cool um drinking mug which is this one um so yeah you just have this in here and you drink it while you are in hospital it's made from plastic so it's really durable as well i'm super excited to try this brand out um like i said i've heard amazing things about them then we've got this brand which is also a local small business which is called her say so this little brand has sent me some amazing items including headbands um this one i think will be for when she's a little bit older so for the sake of packing in for in hospital i will be packing in the pink and the black one i think that's my my color scheme for when we are coming home um and then most importantly a swaddle blanket from we know it as receiving blankets this i've heard is super important to have because the babies do want to be swaddled um when they are newborn and 
with it being a winter baby we want to keep them nice and tight and warm i really love the colors that they have available um this is a olive green which is one of my favorite colors for this season so they are definitely keeping moms on trend babies on trend um and it fits nicely into your hospital bag so i'll definitely be taking this along for baby in hospital then one of the most important parts for mom as well is to pack in her toiletries um i have heard that they don't usually bath the baby too often in hospital and they do obviously have their own soaps and lotions and things like that um but i have been sent these amazing items by dove baby so i've decided to pack in just some of these the, the tiny bottles i think it's quite cute to pack in and it doesn't take up much space so i'll be packing in a head to toe wash as well as the lotion and then just a little baby um it's called a baby bar because the adult one is called a beauty bar so this is something i'll be packing in and then dove has also sent me a receiving blanket which i'll be taking along as well um you can never have too much blankets when they are winter babies so i'm definitely taking this one so now I'll also be packing some essentials for me um which will be just a daily wash of shampoo and conditioner um i've got in some body wash and then i've got my underarm and um my deodorant packed in as well and then i've got my toothbrush toothpaste and a little bit of a mouthwash packed in here as well and then just to make it simpler i will be packing in the baby's little wash and lotion in here as well and then a face cloth so just gonna get that all in here and now we get to the fun part the clothing so i've received this really cool um nightgown from anna grace they are a maternity clothing line which you will find on instagram and they have some of the most amazing items so i received this sleepy nighty and as you can see on here it opens up and then you're still able to breastfeed so i think this is really really cool the fabric is a really good quality and um the part that makes me excited about this is that it's really warm <laughs> um like i said it cold very quickly so it does have the long sleeve and um i opted for a a nighty option because i am worried about bleeding through on pants so i have kept this as an option but then i have packed in some other pages which will be a pants and top as well then we come to one of my other favorite brands which is cherry melon it's a store that i've honestly i've walked past it so many times during my pregnancy because i have been um conscious about the sizing because i have seen that they go up to an extra large i'm usually a 2xl before baby so um i always just avoided going in there until i got contacted by one of the um amazing ladies on instagram and they actually explained to me that there's so much stretch in the items that they definitely will fit me um before baby i was a size 20 pants um around my belly now i would think that i'm about a 22 24 um but we also need to keep in mind that this will be worn in hospital so although there will still be a belly after i've delivered um it will be a softer belly so then we will be able to fit into a size which is approximately the size that i was um before baby and and just a bit one size up i've only picked up about five to six kilos um in my pregnancy so far so it's safe to say that um the size wouldn't be really too much compared to the size i was prior to my pregnancy so some of the items that they um gifted me with is this really cool pants so this is what the, the pants looks like the fabric is so so stretchy this is a size extra large and it fits me comfortably um i've also decided that i will probably just come home in this as well because it's such a cool outfit um although it's pjs um this is the top that comes with it so this is a set that's available in store and it has the button down which i've now it will be my best friend for best for, for breastfeeding um all my clothing would need to be buttoned down or for easily accessible for me to pop the the milk jugs out so this has a button down um all the way down on the top so this is a set um of pjs so because i have used this as an option to wear it coming home as well 
um, I picked up this really cool hoodie at Pick and Pay Clothing, which is a bit of a tie-dye print on here. So this was um, $2.99. It is from one of the 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 real the real collection. Um, this one is real fresh and it's a 2XL. So Hubby and I have decided that our coming home clothing is going to be pink and black um, because I've got a pink and black outfit for the baby as well. Um, and then the number one important item that I've also received from Jerry, Jerry Mellon is a breastfeeding bra, which is this one over here. Um, I'm a bit small on top, so for me, I fit between a size 16, 18 on top. Um, and I took a size large from the breastfeeding bras. So this is really, really cool. It's like a sports bra and then you have this section over here which flips off. It makes it simple to breastfeed while um, you are lying in hospital and then also for the after as well. So thank you so much Jerry Mellon for this items. Um, like I say, the items were so cool as PJs that you can also wear it as I would suggest an outfit for coming home in. Um, but they do also have some casual wear items which is also really, really cool. They have dresses, they have leggings, anything that you can think of. So plus size ladies, please do not feel intimidated by walking into the store when you do see that they only go up to a size extra large which is noted as a size 14 generally. Um, like I say, I'm between a 20 and i fitted this pants on now at 32 weeks pregnant and it still fits comfortably so i would assume that the sizing can go up to between a 24 and a 26. so like i've said previously hubby and i have decided that our coming home outfit would be pink and black that would be our color scheme <laughs> um so i've also received some personalized items from karina jade boutique which is also um a local brand that i found on instagram and they've actually they've actually personalized um some outfits for me for baby to come home in with her name printed on a headband on a little cap and on a baby grower and a tracksuit pants so because i will not reveal her name as it i will show you the back of the items so this is the little cap um the name is printed here on the other side these are the little headbands that comes with it as well and then this is so cute it's got little a little tracksuit pants and then we've got the the grower um this one has a name and surname printed on so i'm super excited and this is for no to three months so um garina personalizes baby outfits for any occasion and i think that this was such a cool opportunity for me to actually personalize some of the baby's items for when she does come home i just wanted to mention as well that i bought well, well this i got from my mom which is some slippers and then i also picked up this really cool gown at pip which is it was 199 um the reason why i did this is because i wanted a dark color because i'm worried that, that i might bleed through on the white gown that i do have currently so i picked this up at pip it is in a size 2xl they have amazing sizing so this i'll be packing in along with um my car seat will be ready for the baby and it's also a thick winter blanket so please do not speak out when you see the size of my bag it is just a medium sized travel bag um but i've decided to take this bag so that i can fit everything in there including the blanket my gown and like i say it's a winter baby so the items that i'm packing is a bit thicker than usual um so yeah let's get packing